I'm doing a mini session for a client. The goals here are short and sweet. So is my soul fragmented is the question. I'm going to go ahead and relax and let's see what we find out. Hmm. Right now, it's experiences of pain, okay? And there are experiences of pain that are like cutting me into pieces, very specifically. Like uh, a razor blade that cuts me straight through my eyes, straight through my head, and just sort of takes this piece of my head off, and then cuts me right down the center, cuts me into two pieces. And then the razor blade cuts me, cuts me, it just keeps cutting me into smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller pieces. And now I have all of these pieces. It's like taking a cookie and then cutting it and cutting it and cutting it and cutting it and cutting it. And cutting it and cu you know, we ha now have a pile of little pieces of a cookie. But what it takes to cut this cookie down, which is a reflection of your own soul, is pain. It takes a lot of pain. Pain, 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 pain. Smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller pieces. But we have this pile of pieces. And it's hard to know how to put the pieces back together originally to create the original cookie. The thing is, we aren't, you aren't fragmenting in order to be put back into the original cookie shape. You're to be reborn, 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 reborn. Over and 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 over again. It's part of the rebirth process to fragment. So that you could be a new expression of yourself. You don't often hear it in that way. Soul fragments is a bad thing. We need to heal the soul fragments, right? But here they're showing me something very important for you to know that your soul has been cut into many, 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 many pieces. And it will not ever be put back into the exact same shape that it was originally. For all the right reasons. And you need to totally embrace that. You need to be thankful for that. All the pain that your soul has been through was for an extraordinary rebirth of yourself, okay? You don't want to put those pieces back together in the same way. You want to discover yourself in a new way. That's why you went through the pain in order to fragment in the first place. So now that that message has been expressed, Obviously, the question is, okay, well, do I need to heal any of these fragments? Do I need to send them, any of them back to the light? Or what do I, okay, so what else? <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to relax now. All right, we're going to do something extraordinary here. All right, your spirit consciousness and my spirit consciousness are one. And we are becoming one with every part of your soul, every fragment of your soul. And we are filling every single fragment with divine love. And I don't even want to use the word fragment. Every beautiful part of yourself. And we're helping to feel, helping all these parts of yourself feel whole within themselves. So let's say you start out as one awesome cookie, and now you're a thousand parts of a single cookie. Every single part is a thousand beautiful parts of yourself. So now you're not just one beautiful cookie, you're a thousand beautiful cookies. <laughs> a thousand parts of, of beautiful expressions of yourself. And what it took to become all of that is what makes you so beautiful and what makes you unique even. All these unique identities. And we're just filling every single little piece of this cookie with light and love. 
And this isn't cliche. This isn't corny. This is literal, pure, divine, sacred, holy. You're so beautiful, love. Okay, in doing this, we are seeping into the pain. And the pain is holding on to itself. Because it had to go through trauma to go through separation. It can't cope with the fact that it went through the trauma which created the separation. It can't cope with its new identity. Because to become the new identity was so traumatizing, it can't even cope with that reality. It sees the trauma as desecrating of itself, not beautifying of itself. So now that part remains in a state of separation and suffering. Now it is a soul fragment. And the only reason it's fragmented is because it does not feel whole within itself. It doesn't feel tuned into the whole of itself. It feels separated through the trauma. And it doesn't know how to come to peace with its process of rebirth. You have thousands of parts of you that are like this. I mean, thousands. <laughs> I don't even know how to define a number when we're talking about infinite time. But let's just say thousands. It's easy to visualize. Trillions, much harder to visualize. When I hear the word trillions, it's like my mind goes, <laughs> don't tell me there's trillions of soul fragments. I can't even cope with that idea. So we're going to look at thousands, okay? I've already started the ripple in your pond. And you can cope with that idea. You can cope with the fact that there are trillions of absolutely gorgeous parts of yourself and you should want to get to know each and every beautiful part of you. The human mind can't fathom it. Because that much time and that many lives, it makes us want to just blow up and implode and just disappear forever. It like just totally breaks the mind down. It breaks ego. I'm opening a door for every beautiful part of your soul. And it is a doorway to pure light and pure love to pure source. Welcoming each part of you to come home. To be at peace with the events of that life. To be at peace with the trauma. To forgive. To let go of the shame. To let go of the guilt. To let go of the terror to let go of the pain. Physical, mental, emotional, alien, un indescribable, undefinable trauma to the soul. It's literally like taking a soul and then cutting it with a knife if a soul can be cut and souls are damaged. Because reality here on earth is so real to us, we don't know how to feel blended with our spirit self and our body. So the spirit self can feel every experience of pain that is here and get lost in that pain. But it doesn't have to. It can trust in the path can trust in the experience was the greatest gift and blessing for your growth and development and self-discovery and in the gift that you are to the whole, to all, to God. Still filling all these parts of you with light and a very welcoming, loving encouragement for them to come back home to the light, to warm themselves within the love of all, 
so that you may feel whole again as all the parts of yourself without the pain but with the adoration and love of yourself and your own soul journey. Okay, that's uh, what I have to say about that. That was really powerful and I know it's going to reach so many people. We all have soul fragments. It's a part of the journey. Welcoming those fragments to find the love and the inner peace and serenity with their own life experiences. It helps you to feel whole. Thank you so much for exploring this session with me. For those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon at Abby Normals Wisdom Quest. You can check out my other YouTube channels, Abby Normal and Zodiac Energy Readings. Have a great day, everybody.